these tags and you can choose to copy all of them or none of them or just a few. Hello Explorers, Kita the Explorer here and today I'm going to walk you through on how TubeBuddy works. And I'm going to do this because in my Learn From YouTube Mistakes video, Exquisite Black Rose submitted a comment and said if I could possibly walk through how to use TubeBuddy because she had signed up for it, hadn't used it, and wanted to know how it worked. So with that said, that is what I'm gonna go through today. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what SEO is and this is not going to be how to do your SEO video. That is a whole breed of another topic. And I don't even know if I can teach someone on that or it may just take too much time. But there are a lot of a lot of videos out there on SEO and you can go and research that. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what SEO is. And then we're going to focus most of this video on TubeBuddy. So I'm going to take you into my computer you're not gonna see me anymore. We're gonna be on the computer today and I'm going to show you the TubeBuddy site online. I'm gonna show you what TubeBuddy looks like when it interface with your YouTube studio, your YouTube search engine, and then when you're on other people's videos. And I'm also gonna show you the TubeBuddy app for your mobile phone. So let's get into today's video. But before we get into today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified when all of my videos are released. Videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Now my channel will talk about all things travel, photography, and the environment. And yesterday, I know I'm talking about TubeBuddy, which is out of those categories, but it was requested, you guys, so I will answer your request in due time. So now let's get into today's video. Okay, so we are now on my computer and we are on the website. So once you sign up for a TubeBuddy account, you will log into your website and it will look like this, similar to this. Obviously it won't say key to the explorer, it won't have your name there. But um, just to go over quickly over pricing, they have different versions that you can pay for or not pay for. So they have a free version and with the free version, you don't really get many things here and things become limited of what you do get. Things like your topic planner, playlist actions, can responses, end screen templates, all that stuff you're not really getting. Um, but when you go up and pay for the pro version, which is only for me $4.50 a month, you get more of these options and more availability to use that will really help you and assist you with your planning of your YouTube videos. And you see you get limited access to the keyword explorer, which is the main thing you will want from TubeBuddy and what you want to use. So with that said, I do suggest once you sign up for TubeBuddy to start on the free version, that's what I did to learn it and get used to it. And once you use it about a month or two, upgrade to at least the pro version. But they do have a star and legend version and you can go to TubeBuddy's website and go to the pricing page and you can compare all the features that they have and which package is best for you. And I will leave a link down below in the description box for you to go and sign up for TubeBuddy and learn more about it. And that link, I'll talk about it more at the end, but that link is an affiliate link. So if you sign up or two buddy through that link i do get possibly a commission from you signing up through it but it will be no additional cost for you so let's head back to my account profile so like you go to you log into tubebuddy online you have a home page and you will have any channels that you pay for tubebuddy up here so you have to pay for tubebuddy for each of your channels if that's what you want so you have different things underneath your channel you have a health report you have launchpad backups and exports canned responses promo material settings uses uh, stats so let's click on the health report and the health report is going to give you different types of analytics than what you will see in your youtube studio so you're going to see what your overall performance is in the last 30 days compared to the previous 30 days. 
You'll see what your searches are doing. You'll also see how many uploads you have, how many new subscribers you have. And just to let you know, my subscriber count is hidden, so that's why it says zero right there. But in this performance, you can see that I did grow 106 subscribers over the last 30 days. So this is like a Snapchat. It's really good to have this summary here and you don't have to dig through everything on your YouTube studio to find this information when it's right here. And then you have your usage stats. So this is just some more analytics that will um, help you in your um, planning and performing on YouTube. So also in TubeBuddy, you have a launch pad and on the dashboard, it tells you all the things that are, that's in the um, launch pad. But we'll start with the checklist template and this is just a template of when you go to upload your video into YouTube, it tells you all the things that you must have in order to do so. It also gives you best practices, um, different opportunities. And so they do have some promo materials for you to use. So they have permanent links such as your most recent upload. So if you have like your Instagram page, this may be helpful. If you have um, like a link tree or something similar on your website, you can use this link and it will always point people to the most recent public upload. So that is really nice. Um, you can have links for your most popular uploads, channel page link, channel page with a subscription pop-up links. Um, and then they have stuff like for your most recent uploads. I mean, they just have all types of different things you can use for promotional information. And clearly I am not doing a good job here, but you can run backups on your video metadata and download it in a CSV format. I should probably do that after I finish recording this. So that is a rundown of the website if you log into TubeBuddy. But the best thing about it is when you are actually uploading a video. So I'm just gonna upload a video that is not gonna be on my YouTube channel, but I'm just gonna use it for demonstration purposes and we'll go from there. So let's head on over to YouTube Studio. Okay, so I'm actually just uploading my Pinterest promo. Um, it was the most recent video on my computer. So the video that just came out on Tuesday, this is my Pinterest promo. This is, I'm definitely not uploading this to YouTube. It will not be there. Um, but as you know, this is your typical screen when you upload a video into your YouTube studio. And you're gonna fill out your information as normal, your title, your description, all that information. But the most important part of this is the TubeBuddy features. So there is a feature here where it has a down arrow um, and so if you have any defaults, like you really love a layout of um, one of your videos, you can come in here and save it as a default. And then you can scroll down to whatever one you have. Um, I, I should probably set up a default. I haven't done it because I just usually um, copy stuff over from the prior video. But either way, this helps you save time with a default setup here. You can also create thumbnails. I have done that before. I'm going to click on the create thumbnail just so you can see their thumbnail generator. You can create from a still frame, a solid color, or just an image or existing thumbnail. And so you can do that and you can get a still frame there, click continue, and then it's going to have some things here to help you edit it. Um, I don't really like it that much. This is why I don't typically use it. I have used it before to revamp some old, old video thumbnails. But in the most part, I use a different platform to create my thumbnails. But if you want a one-stop shop, it is here and good for you to use. So you scroll down, you'll notice when something is TubeBuddy related because it will have the TubeBuddy logo next to it. So now we're down to the SEO tags box. And so when I start doing my SEO tags, I always start off by putting my name. So my channel name and then whatever the name of the video is. And I may have more than one title in the video, so it, it might be broken up into one, two, or three in here. And so I would just copy those in. So I'm already at like three or four SEO tags when I get to this point. I may go into Google's keyword tools and find um, some common keywords there. I usually can only get one or two that will go into this box. 
And then I typically start thinking about how would I search for something in relation to a layover or New York City? And so I may type those questions in, but that doesn't really give me many tags to use. And so that's when you can come down and you can see that TubeBuddy has recommended tags. And you can see these tags and it will have a score next to it to tell you how good it's gonna rank for you based on your channel and what you produce and how it's being ranked for you. So I will typically pick some of these that are definitely ranking and then um, I will pick some other ones. So you can actually sort the tags by relevance or you can sort it by keyword score. And then you can um, just click on them as you go. So you can click it and it will add it right into your tags box. There's that feature that is an amazing feature for TubeBuddy to have it. You know, you don't have to sit here and really think so long about your SEO tags when they have a tool here to assist you in doing so. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna go through these steps here. So, and then on this page here with the video elements and here you can save your templates as, uh, as well. So you can come in, click on templates and save, you know, select one if you have templates saved up. And then you click through and you finish your video as always. And everything you input from your TubeBuddy into your video will be saved there. But now let's go to YouTube. So let's head on over. Okay, so I wanted to come in and show you what it looks like when you're on someone's video. And this will pop up on anyone's video. And as you can see, it gives you a summary. So it's telling you how many views, tells you how many comments, it tells you the uh, SEO ranking, then it says rank tags. So these are the tags that are actually are ranking in the search on YouTube that you actually tagged in your videos. So five of the tags that I selected in my video are actually ranking here. It also tells you if it's been liked or engaged with one on social media. And then it will give you some information about the channel and it'll tell you the best practices that have been followed. And then you can scroll down and you will see the tags that are listed in this video. And then the ones with the green numbers next to it are the ones that rank in tags. And you can actually go down here and copy these tags and you can choose to copy all of them or none of them or just a few by clicking these and copying it to the clipboard. And it says copy down here and you can actually go and copy them into your video. So now let's go to a search on YouTube. TubeBuddy helps you in your YouTube searches. So you may be wanting to search for a topic on a video to see how it's ranking, see what other people are doing and apply that in your video. And this is one of the things I do. So I may come in here and and I can, I'm just gonna click on Delta Airlines and I can click on that and I can see what comes up in search. Here on the right hand side, you have a TubeBuddy box. So TubeBuddy Search Explorer. So when you type in, this is the SEO tag. This is your search tag that you're going to use here. And as you can see, it has a search volume. So. When it is an excellent search, it's gonna be all the way up here. But if it's pretty bad, it will be down here. So if this search volume is down here, I tend to look for another tag that I can use because not that many people are searching for it. But it will also tell you how many are searching. Um, and it will go from any place along the spectrum. But I usually try to find a term that I can use that will be searchable around this area here so middle of the road or higher it also will tell you about competition so if it's all the way up here that means the competition is pretty good and not too many people will be in the field for you to compete with whereas down here that means okay there's a lot of people to compete with it's going to be really hard so again you have to really kind of outweigh it and see if you want to deal with all the competition if you have enough comp content to really um, compete with these people. But then you take both of these together and then you'll get an overall score here that TubeBuddy gives you. So it'll give you an unweighted score and then you can click here for weighted, which we will discuss in a moment. 
But when you look at these two scores together, it says, okay, you have a good ranking here. So that's excellent. So like if it was both of these were like, okay, the search volume is terrible and there is way too many competitors, you may need to look in narrowing down the search terms you wanna target. So let's click here for weighted. It will open up this keyword explorer with TubeBuddy and it will take the search term you have and it will give you an overall score. So it's giving me a 10%, 10 out of 100. That is a fail, y'all. And <laughs> this score is, a weighted score is based on the content that is on your channel. So TubeBuddy is considering the performance of all of your videos currently on your channel, currently published, includes that into the results of this score, okay? This might mean you don't really want to target this. You may want to add something to this to target it more. If you click back on Unweighted, it's gonna give you more details about this tag. So on the main page, just on the search page, it just gave you the search volume and the competition, but now it's adding in the optimization strength. So it's looking at more details here and it's telling you like, uh, this is not really a good keyword to target because it is searched often and extremely competitive and it's really hard to rank for. And when it's something hard to rank for, that means people may not find you. So you need to look at this information in order to see if you need to find another keyword that you can target to make sure you get ranked. And it is important to get ranked because then when you, someone goes in to type in Delta Airlines, it's when your name should be at the top. Your video should be close to the top so people can find it. So this is on the search page. This is a great tool to use. This is something I use for my videos. All right, so that is the last portion of what you can see with TubeBuddy on the computer. And now I'm gonna take you to the phone app. Okay, so now we are on my iPhone and this is how the mobile app will look on your smartphone. And similar to the website, when you go to the TubeBuddy app, it will have your channel name. So if you click on your name, the arrow next to your channel name, it will take you to all of your recent videos and it will give a summary of each of your most recent videos. You can click on your video and it will give you some information if you have done most of your uh, of the best practices. It will tell you which ones you haven't done. If you don't have a green check in these things, you need to go and see if it's worth your update time um, and if it's really affecting your video and you can actually send the report details to your email address. So that is something you can do there. And then also you can share this and click watch from here. Then you can click on comments. It will give you the most recent comments that are coming up and you can actually post replies in here as well. Then they have milestones. So as you reach different milestones, you'll get these little like awards. You can also click on the news tab and they just have a lot of different breaking news here that may affect your YouTube channel or social media life. And then lastly, there is a menu page. You can also come in here and do a tag explorer if you're doing things from your mobile device. Um, and then you can look into having a topic planner. And this is just a nice little tracker of potential videos you may publish in the future, which is really nice. You can also save tag lists if you would like. So that's how TubeBuddy looks like on your mobile phone. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this helpful, a nice little demonstration on TubeBuddy. And don't forget you can sign up for TubeBuddy down below in my description box. There will be a link down there for you. It is an affiliate link. So if you sign up for it, I may get commission from it at no additional cost for you. That's important, right? No additional cost for you, but it'll help me out and help provide more for the channel. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any additional questions, make sure you leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And lastly, make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and your social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and night wherever in the world you are. See you later.